Like, I have to restart. That's just too bad. Too... It really... Yeah. No, whatever. Let's just restart. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it was already a shitty run since the beginning. I should have reset it when I reached Senua with four lives, but I didn't want to choose to see how far I could get, but that's the, the epitome of bullshit, so I'm just... Those dices are trash. I, I really... You know, the, probably one of the only reasons why I hate the Senua fight so much is because of those shitty ass dices. They have an unpredictable trajectory. I mean, yeah, they are dices, I get it, but fuck you and your unpredictable trajectory. I also don't like the cards, but I guess that's a little bit more manageable. But the dices are complete cancer. And I don't like using the word cancer lightly. But... I feel like it's justified in this case. Hey man, now I'm not gonna know who the game that Draenor mentioned is called. Fort Armin Realm of the Mild God Huh I think I heard of it but don't quite remember Yabusame Lawless Thoughtlessness Is Thoughtlessness even a a word? Gotcha. The permadeath isn't bad because you still make progress if you die. I see. Yeah, I guess that makes more sense. I mean, I'm just imagining a traditional MMO with permadeath and I would think that that's complete horseshit. Like, imagine if all the effort that I do with a character suddenly gets uh, erased from existence. Damn, two extents in a row? That's extremely lucky. I guess that's why... That's why the previous run was so shitty. So this run could be a decent run. And I'm definitely gonna get that, yeah. Wow, seven lives. Alright. That... You know... Just like money, I will say that luck come and goes. It's a pretty interesting phenomenon, right? I got back into it because Yannick tried it out and wanted to join in. My account is like 8 years old. Interesting. So I guess instead of perma that is more like a, a rogue-like, right? Because if you die, you lose your character, but you still make progress. Isn't that kind of like the definition of a roguelike? I mean, a pretty simplified definition, but... Isn't that kind of like what a roguelike is all about? Rotem and she... What? Rotem she. Oh, this is the the army with the kamikaze assholes, right? Oh no no this no this is not the one with the kamikazes, thankfully. Still have these big guys shooting the big bullets. Nothing to be scared of. Okay, this is a non-spell. Oh, and it's this fucked up non-spell. Oh, I got it. 
No, really, to be honest, the game is a deep rabbit hole. Oh, speaking of rabbit hole, immortal enemies. Well, this is gonna be a rabbit hole. I can tell you that. Yeah, I guess we were getting too lucky. So it had to happen. Man. Immortal enemies, huh? Well, those two lives that I got are gone because Immortal Enemies is fucking bullshit. So, good shit. We did pretty well. Play like once a year for a month. I see. And that sucks so much. But as I was saying, luck Come and goes. I already fell into a deep rabbit hole. What's your goal? My goal is to defeat this extra stage. With 200 levels. Like level 200. With garbage shot. Hey, this isn't a garbage shot. It's just not top tier. But it doesn't mean that it's garbage. I wouldn't call it garbage at least. But yeah, that's my objective. It's getting pretty hard though, I gotta say. Because, yeah, I mean, the shot type is not garbage as Riemann says, but it's pretty average compared to a lot of other shot types that are unbelievably strong. So this shot type is just average in a game that has broken shot types, that's the issue. Shy and sudden absence. Man, fuck you. <laughs> like, come on. And at this rate, I'm gonna start the fight with a pretty bad amount of power. Alright. Whatever. Anti-gravity. Man, I hate this army so much. I really, really hate this army with all of my heart. This army deserves all my hatred. Well, ultimately... This is still not a bad run. It's a bad run in the sense that it could have been a way better run. Yes, in that sense, it is a bad run. Now, in the general landscape, I will say that this is not bad. I mean, having five lives, one bomb could be better, yes, but I mean, I don't think it's that horrible. It's just a little bit unfortunate if you want to call it that way. A little bit. I think... Is it even possible to get that fucking extra life without getting hit by the sorry ass cards? It might be possible if I auto collect to the top. But I always forget to do it. Just gonna stay here. No reason to risk it in a non spell like this. Well, you know. Just chill. Thankfully, they got sniped. Alright. No bombs. We can't forget about the no bombs. When getting through. Uh, the Sitzes are fine. It's pretty interesting that the Sitzes might be one of the most docile uh, dices. 
because they are pretty docile. I mean, depending on where they get thrown, it can be pretty dangerous or not. But for the most part, they might be, well, alongside with the one, the one is also pretty docile because it's only an explosion that happens there, an explosion that stays in place. So compared to all of the other bullshit, I will say that the seats and the one are the most calm uh, combinations that you can get. Reverse card. So, funnily enough, the, the one here might be the worst one because it's, a, it's an aim knife. But it's an aim knife that is also really, really fast, so it can get you by surprise like it already did before. There we go. Vodka face. And a lot of these patterns are hard just because of how much bullshit you see on the screen. So it gets pretty hard to even know what you are dodging. That's probably one of the hardest parts of most of Senoa spell cards. The randomness also doesn't help. I guess it, it's all related. So for example, this spell card can be really easy or incredibly hard. Like for example, see that Shackpot? That makes it really hard to survive. But if you don't get any Shackpot like that, uh, it's not that bad. It really is all about getting lucky in the end. Oh, that's bad. I got it. Nice. Nice cap, thanks. I mean, it was a nice cap. Hey, come on. And the issue here are basically the dices going wherever they want with an unpredictable trajectory. That's the worst part of this spell card. And there are a lot of them. It's full of dices. You see dices everywhere. You see dices even where you don't want to see them. Yeah, it's all... A showcase of dices that... It's pretty dangerous, but if dices weren't enough, now cards are also part of the equation, and of course coins! Because it wasn't enough, after all that horseshit, there needed to be more horseshit, of course. Uh oh, wow! Yeah, th that was bound to happen. Almost a capture, that was almost a capture. But almost is not the same as actually being one. This spell card is also pretty hard. Thankfully I have resources to to spend, but this is still a, a really hard spell card because you barely have any space to dodge. So it becomes insanely hard to to do anything productive here. So I think I'm just gonna bomb through through this spell card, if you don't mind. Wow. I say that and I got hit, but I flash bomb. Why didn't that work? I guess I'm overestimating the the iframes of the flash bomb. Probably the flash bomb doesn't really have those many iframes, and I'm thinking it has, but it truly doesn't. That's unfortunate. It's still not a bad run, though. Will be a little bit better, though. But... Yeah, I was gonna get hit there. Almost a capture, too. Okay, but... 
I mean, I think resource-wise I'm not doing that badly. I have four lives, sadly zero bombs, a flash bomb though, so there is some hope there. But we will see. Not full power either, but we can work on that. Surugami getting headshot. Really, having this as a starting spell card is so fucked up. I know that I sound like a broken record at this point, but this spell card fucking sucks. And it being the first spell card is really fucked up. But then again, that's nothing new when it comes to Len and having the very first pattern to be hard it's almost like a tradition at this point I will say more than an exception uh oh oh fuck that was bad timing pretty pretty bad timing there on my end Will have gone down a lot, uh, a lot later than where I went. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Shit. Okay. Nice. Good capture. This one. It's just about staying safe. Thankfully, this is coping that non-spell in Lenin 1 that actually allows you to stay there and chill because there are two non-spells like this in Lenin 1 and one of them can get really really hard to, to deal with. You don't want that one, you want the one that you get here. Thankfully you get it. Nice! That was a pretty fast kill on that non-spell. Alright. We still have the clock that doesn't tell the time. And some of these diagonal movements in static and moving bullets is so fucked up to do. I'm gonna bomb though. Yeah, it was a fast kill indeed. Alright. This is not gonna be... Well, this is gonna be a fast kill, but in reverse. I'm the one that is gonna get fast killed by this spell card. So, considering that I have no bombs, maybe I could try capturing this shit for the first time. No, I can't. I, I don't understand this spell card, dude. I can't do much about it. Oh! Uh. Okay, that almost gets close. Sadly, this is a pretty bad situation. I didn't want this to happen because this will force me to um, pay attention to the bombs in this in this uh, survival non-spell. And it's pretty hard to react to getting hit in this non-spell. So this is a, a bad situation overall. Maybe we can save it a little bit. I'm gonna preemptively bomb. I mean, it's better wasting a bomb like that than wasting four bombs because I didn't bomb. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, that didn't go too badly, but obviously that's just the first non-spell, so 
doesn't really matter. I'm being pretty... Oh, fuck me. That sucks. Man, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Of myself right now. Why didn't you bomb? What an idiot. Have to be really careful with this specific spell card too. You can get suddenly killed by this shit really badly. I saw that coming and I kinda imagined that that was gonna fuck me up like that. No spell is usually not that challenging, but it can get pretty problematic. Get headshot. Wow. It went right, right where I was. It didn't hesitate to go exactly in the point that I was standing. Those side frames right there are pretty, pretty permissive. Mm. Uh oh, I fucked that up. I, I fucked that up like an idiot. I can't believe I fucked it up like that. I, I really can't believe it. Well, that truly sucks. Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to to survive this. I, you, you hate to see that happen. And she still has that shit. not want to remember it for obvious reasons I'm gonna bomb this the problem of bombing this is that I need to capture the last spell okay Such a... <sighs> we got it! Jesus Christ! Nice cut, thanks, thanks! Ah, oh, that was such a... Yeah, we made it somehow. And then over to Subakura. I think you will be able to do that. Hm. 
Yeah, tell them what you what your countermeasures were. That's obviously gonna be a good idea. And poof. It's done. Hmm. Man. That was something else. It truly was something else. I was not expecting to get it today. And this was basically the last run that I was doing for the day. So the fact that I actually did this... Uh, that's pretty nice. I'm really glad. So now I actually unlock Susumi too. Uh, Susumi Kusu is now available for selection. The reverse shall be clarified. It shall be clarified for sure. Probably not though. I don't think this game really explains that much on Susumi. So you will have to wait until the next install installment. And that's only if that happens. Wow. Having the highlight picture be my most hated spell card. I guess that's a pretty good highlight. Anyways, that was the extra plus alpha with the scoundrel team on level 200 uh, with the instant death uh, modification. So, she's.